Hello, I'm Brent Dyke, a large dozer application specialist with Caterpillar out of East Peoria, Illinois. Technology brings a lot to our dozers these days. One is it helps us maintain a higher and more consistent level of productivity for operators throughout their entire working shift. What that means for you is lower cost per unit of material moved. Whether you're measuring that productivity in tons per hour, bank or loose cubic meters, or yards per hour. One of those technologies we're going to talk about today is auto carry. Auto carry is a technology we use to help with operators during the carry portion of the cycle. It takes a couple different components to help it do its job. One is a GPS antenna that lets the machine know its actual ground speed. It uses that ground speed to then calculate its track slip. Another component is the position sensing cylinder on the lift. And that allows the blade to automatically raise and lower during the carry portion of the cycle to maintain a proper balance between blade load and track slip. Okay, so now we're up in the cab of the D9, and what we're going to do is we've got a little bit of a slot set up in front of us that's got a little bit of a longer carry to it, and that's because we're going to show off the auto carry and what it really does. Uh, we've got some cameras mounted on the machine itself. We've got one on the very front pointed down at the top of the blade. We also have another one over on the left lift cylinder that's kind of pointing down toward the uh, tilt cylinder. And then a couple cameras here in the cab to kind of see what's going on here. What I'm going to do is load the blade, transition into the carry, and then take the material out and spread it uh, by pushing the pile back. But I want to show what auto carry does when I engage it, which is over here on this, this yellow button on my thumb. It's the inside yellow button that will activate auto carry. And what that's going to do is then take over the raise and the lower of the blade through the carry portion that allows me to maintain that proper blade load to track slip. And so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and load up the tractor. Okay, now that I'm pretty much getting ready to go, I'm going to start transitioning into the carry. I just hit my auto carry button and the tractor's going to go ahead and maintain that load. And I'm also looking over here at my load monitor just to kind of see what the tractor's doing. It usually stays over here in the green is what it's trying to do, is maintain that high productivity level, balancing load and track slip. So the blade is actually doing its raise and lower for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start spreading the material out. Lean my blade forward. I'm going to take over control now and spread that material out. Go in reverse and away we go. Okay, so this time we're going to do the pass using auto carry in conjunction with auto blade assist. So essentially what that's going to do is, is that auto blade assist is going to help control the blade pitch during three different sections of the uh, cycle, which would be uh, my cut pitch, my uh, carry pitch, and then also my spread pitch. And then I'll use that in conjunction with auto carry, which will, during the carry portion, take care of the raise and lower of the, uh, of the blade to maintain that blade load to uh, track slip that we're looking for. So that's what we're going to do at this point in time. So we're going to go ahead and get the blade loaded up. Okay, now as we get up here, I'm going to transition to the carry. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my ABA button, and that's going to automatically engage auto carry. So all I had to do is hit one button even though I'm activating two features. Automating my pitch back, but I'm also turning on auto carry with one button push. So you can see that I'm not really having to work the blade at all. I'm easily concentrating on what I'm up to. I might have to add a little bit of blade tilt to kind of help steer the tractor in the slot, but for the most part the rest of it's going to take care of itself. Okay, so now we're getting ready to come up to the spread, so I know I'm going to get ready and start dumping the material out. So all I really need to do is go ahead and cycle my auto blade assist button one more time. It's going to advance to the spread, roll the blade forward, and then start slowly adding some lift that I can control in the monitor of how much I want to put in. It starts to spread the material out. As I feel the blade starting to get a little bit empty, I can go ahead and kick it into reverse. An auto blade assist will automatically raise the blade up to height, cycle the blade back to pitch, and then return to my cut pitch. So you can see, if I do this over and over and over each day, this is going to help try to alleviate some of that fatigue that I'm going to get as the day wears on. 
So utilizing technology like Auto Carry and Auto Blade Assist can really help minimize the operator's workload, helping them be more productive and more consistent throughout the entire workday. For more information on CAT products, please join us on our website at www.cat.com. Thank you.